Hello, it is the beginning of September and I've just picked my damsons from one small damson tree and you can see there they are in all their bluish purplish glory. Now you can see they're really tiny and stoning them is a real pain. I have got a sort of stoning thing but it's not that efficient you end up getting juice splattered everywhere all over your face. So I'm going to make a jelly with this and at that point you don't need to do any of the de-stoning. I'll show you how to do that in a minute. So our damsons that you saw in the bowl that were big and raw, um, I tipped them into this huge great saucepan and I've just added, I added enough water to, to just come below the fruit when they were raw and now this is what we've got, having bubbled them for about 15 minutes on the stove on quite a high heat because they've got they've got lots of water in so they're not going to stick but do keep an eye it's the most gorgeous color right so when you've got to that stage you want a jug you want to make sure that you are not wearing anything with any white on or <laughs> anything that matters because damson juice is the most staining substance and here forgive the color of it it's been used to press our apples many many times i've got um, a mesh bag and it's over my washing up bowl, held in place by putting it over the legs of an upturned chair. Okay, so now I'm just going to decant our damson mixture in through here and hopefully the juice will come out of the bottom and all of the solids will stay in the bag. I'm not aiming for a really, really clear jelly. Um, if you were wanting to enter a show or into the WI or something, you, um, you want a clear jelly, but I actually think I quite like a little bit of body to it. So if some little bits get through our mesh bag, I'm pretty delighted. There we go. You don't need to see all of them. Okay, so I have got now 2,000 millilitres or two litres of damson juice and it's quite thick and gloopy because I put it through quite a um, large hold strainer and I also passed a little bit of pulp through a sieve at the end because I like it to have some body. So I'm going to put my 2,000 millilitres into a pan. You see how that's really nice and thick. And then the ratio of juice to sugar is four to three. So if I've got 2,000 millilitres of juice, I want 1,500 uh, grams, that is, of sugar. Now I'm also going to add some pectin because I've had experience with damsons before where they haven't set. So I'm just gonna stick some in. And this you do four to six grams of pectin per kilo of fruit. So I'm going to put eight grams in. I'm not going to go high on this one. Uh, I find if you mix this with the sugar before you put it in, you get a much better result. Otherwise it can go a, bit, a little bit lumpy on the top. Okay, no need to heat in advance. I'm going to tip it in. And the next thing I'm going to do is boil it for about 10 minutes or, or until it's reached the setting point when you can wrinkle it on a saucer. Then I'll pour it into jars and you're done.